So this is where <clears throat> my whole tone changes and you'll hear it. They said, this communication is not going anywhere. If you keep insisting on a $70 refund, we can't reach that agreement. If you're interested in the coupon, we really hope you can consider the $40 refund. Thank you. back another video so in today's video I'm sure you guys can tell by the title I'm going to be giving you guys a one week update about this wig that I purchased from Hair VV but before we get into the video you guys know what I ask please make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you're new welcome if you're returning thank you for coming back and tuning into my videos but let's just get right into the video now I'm gonna give you guys a full disclaimer this video is going to be long um, I do think the information in here would kind of be helpful so you know I'll maybe try to insert like timestamps up here if you guys want to skip ahead, but I'm going to do the one week initial review first um, and then I'm going to get into the rest. Um, so my thoughts on this wig, as you guys saw me mention in my initial video when I unboxed it, hands down, still is the best hairline. It was so easy to glue this wig down. I do actually have it glued down with like glue, glue, not like got to be glued. And there might be some hairs that are like stuck to the lace, but look at this hairline. This hairline is amazing. It is natural. I love the stocking cap thing. I didn't think I was gonna like it. You guys saw me talk about that. It looks it's so natural. It matches so well to my skin tone. Um, I just, I love everything about that. Um, the hair is nice. <clears throat> the hair is soft. Um, I haven't experienced like any tangling, like anything more than normal. Um, no real shedding. They did an amazing job. Like we talked about the hairline. Whoever plucked this, kudos. Hands down, like no issues with the overall wig. My issues are with the price. Now, as you guys heard me mention in that initial video, and you're probably like, well, how could you complain about something? And you guys saw me, like, when I unboxed it, I had the return policy here. And all I did was just read, like, the top line and toss it to the side. It wasn't until after. Now, I didn't want to return the wig, just putting that out there. But it wasn't until after um, I cut the lace, I was like, this is really thin. And I compared the picture, and I'm like, this is just doesn't look like the the picture that they have online now you guys are probably like well right now the wig looks nice and full so I've been like fluffing it to try to get it and maybe this is what they did but it's a little bit misleading um, because when you gather all of the hair this is it that's not a lot of hair like you have to fluff this like this is it that's it <laughs> like that's it um, so, like, I still am not a fan of the density. If you are into more of, like, a natural look, I think you'll be fine. Um, but it's just a little bit thin. Considering I paid extra to have the 160 density in addition to the 13 by 6 frontal, which I'm kind of disappointed with. Um, obviously the density, because you guys saw me talk about that in my initial unboxing video. I'm going to link that down below if you guys want to check that out. Um, but... And this is not really like a jab at them. It seems like it's an acceptable industry standard. It's just not acceptable to me. Um, you pay extra for a 13 by 6 frontal. Um, it's like 6 by 6 parting space closure. And then from like here to here, you have maybe about 2 inches um, of frontal where you can actually part. So it's not really like a true 13 by 6 frontal. And again, it's not anything with them. Everybody does it. I just don't like it. So if you're going to charge me extra for a frontal, make sure it's an actual frontal. That's all. So overall, I'm actually having a really, really great experience with the wig. Um, that really thick adjustable bra strap that they have in the back has been great. I thought it would be cumbersome and in the way, but it's really not. Now, my other gripe that I have with this wig is that they have like the hooks that they have at the very back to where you can adjust it to make the wig even tighter. Now, normally I don't have it 
any more in than maybe about two notches in on each side which is my norm for any of the wigs that I've ever had because I have the wig glued down I do have it in a little bit tighter but that one band I'm gonna insert a picture up here so you guys can see what I'm talking about one side already like is stretched out like if I've been wearing it for like over a year and that's not the case. A little disappointed with that because of the price that you paid for the wig and it's really, I've really only been wearing it like I said for a week. So for it to stretch out already is a little bit disappointing. So now we're going to get into the second part of this video. So I'm going to be looking down because I'm reading all this information off of my iPad. So I reached out to them um, shortly after I made that video because I'm like, I'm not mad at the price per se and I'll say why I'm not mad at the price. If I had gotten what I thought I paid for or what I was paying for, because you guys recall I was like, this wig is a little bit expensive. But I realized what you're paying for with the wig now. You're paying for the hairline and this fake scalp, which I mentioned to you guys, I feel as though they should give consumers the option to not get the fake scalp. I don't think you need it on this wig. If this was like a regular HD lace wig and it didn't have the fake scalp, you'd be fine. I don't get why you're charging a little bit more because it's not like I say you are paying the person who actually came up with the fake scalp method. You're just charging more for a little piece of material on the wig. So not really a fan of that. But I'm going to get into these, this back and forth emails that I was going through with them. I'm going to be looking down on my iPad when I do that. So I reached out. I said, good day. I purchased a wig from your company. And after I cut the lace off of the wig, I realized that it looks nothing like what I ordered. So I cut the lace off first, obviously. And then I went back because I'm like, yo, this looks... And I know I realized in the video, like, I looked at it, but again, the hairline had me like, okay, you know, I need to try this wig out. So I was like, you know, it doesn't look like it's 160% density, it looks like it's 130. And again, even though I held up pictures showing you guys that it looks a little bit different, I think in that moment I was really referring to, like, the length of the wig. It wasn't until afterwards I realized, I'm like, this doesn't look like 100 and. 60% density and that by that time as you guys see in the video when I was comparing it to that pink wig I had already cut the lace so there was really nothing I can do um, It tells you on here don't cut the lace so if you guys think 130% density because that's what I'm gonna call it um, Is not good enough for you guys and you try this wig out Don't cut the lace off and then just send it back because I do believe it's overpriced um, But we're, we're gonna get into that so they pretty much just responded back and said that, you know, there's nothing that can be done because the lace has already been cut. They sent me a link with their return policy and then they said that, and I don't want to say I don't like when companies do this um, because I've been back and forth with companies before. Don't try to pacify me. Don't say things that don't make any sense. Uh, I feel as though it's an insult on my intelligence. But they were like, have you tried washing the hair to see if it looks better after washing and restyling the hair would look fuller? And it does, right. Obviously, if I curl it and I do one of these, it's going to look full. My issue is not with the hair not like looking full. It's just that when I grab all the hair together, this is not 160% density. I don't care what you got to say. This is not 160% density. You know, I don't know how to measure density. However, you guys saw me with my 130% density wig held side by side. I have a lot of wigs that are 130% density because when I first started out on my channel, I didn't really realize 130 density didn't work for me and I had to end up cutting a lot of my wigs because they were just so thin. Um, so I know that this is not 160, not in comparison to those. So I reached back out to them again after that correspondence and I said, you know, I understand your return policy. Pretty much like this is kind of like false advertisement because this doesn't look like what I received. I said, you know, do you think you should charge someone $354 for this? The density is not going to change with me washing and styling. Clearly by your own depiction on your website, I didn't get the density that I paid for. So then they said, well, you know, the hair fullness, you know, it could happen from shipping. And I'm like, all right, you know, yes, it can look a little bit flatter. It's been sitting in a box. Um, it's probably been smushed from shipping, however you want to call it. Okay, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. So I'm like, I'm not new to wigs. I literally have 20 wigs. There they are, right? I definitely understand hair changing during packaging. However, I've never heard of the density changing during shipping. They also offered me in that prior email, they offered to give me a $25, as they call it, a big coupon. So you want to give me $25 off to spend more money with you after I just told you I wasn't satisfied with what I already got. 
So they mentioned they use a scale to weigh their wigs. I said, I'm not certain what scale you're using to weigh your wigs, but you may want to check them. When I compare this to my other wigs at a 130 density, the hair is less. Can you help me understand this since this is 160% density? Now, before I go any further into like my emails, back and forth with them, I do also want to disclose I, I made, I'm going to go with I made a mistake, right? Aside from me cutting the lace, knowing that they sent me my, their return policy and I just didn't read it as you guys saw on camera, I made a mistake. So I sent them a picture, had the wig here, side by side with a picture on their website, and it has this writing in the background, which obviously um they looked up because they made a comment on my video on youtube so i'm hoping that this is the same response they would give to all consumers but i didn't do it intentionally i just told myself well this is the best place to put it to where i can get decent lighting and i don't have to hold the wig up wasn't really thinking so i think from this backdrop um and watching my video they were able to tie those two into the emails so Hopefully this is the response that they would give regular consumers, but I didn't really get like a different response until after I think they viewed my video, which we were already a couple emails in, but let me get back to that. So after me talking about the density um, not being affected by shipping, this was their response. I'm probably going to read this portion off verbatim. She said, I don't mean that the shipping will make the density thinner, but it will affect the wave styling of the hair, which makes the hair not look as thick as the pictures on our website. The density is also affected by the length and the cap construction. So wigs in different specifications can't be compared directly. <laughs> but since you are not satisfied with the hair, I specifically applied a $10 partial refund for you in addition to the $25 coupon that we mentioned earlier. Please let me know if you will take a $10 refund plus $25 coupon. Now, I get it. You don't want me to compare someone else's wig to your wig. That's fine. But how is the style by the hair, as depicted by you guys on your website, <laughs> not going to be 160%? Like, it's a long bob. There shouldn't be, like... If it wasn't any of these short strands, maybe at the roots it's 160% density. Like, I, I, I can't, I can't, I just can't. Like, there, no, no. Like, what? If I compare a wig that's 160% density to a wig that's 130% density, regardless of how the hair is styled, there should be a difference in the fullness. That should be obvious. I mean, 30% density is... It's not, a little, it's not like 10%, it's not like 5%, it's 30% difference. Why is it that a wig that's 130% density looks thicker than a wig that's 160? Please answer that for me. So after she offered me that the $10 and the, the $25 big coupon, I said, I'll pass. The density of the hair is worth way more to me than a $10 refund and a $25 coupon for me to spend more money, again, when I'm already dissatisfied. Customer service tip, when coming up with, with suggestions to help customers, they should actually help the customer and not leave room to put more money in your pocket. Like, if you're going to give me... A ten dollars money back and a twenty five dollar big coupon like just give me thirty five dollars don't tell me you're gonna give me ten dollars and then say here's twenty five dollars to spend more money with us no 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 offense like i don't know if i'm ever really gonna buy another wig from hair vv like i said the wig is nice but your wigs are priced on the higher side for aliexpress hair because this is aliexpress hair because after i washed it the texture of the hair did change We'll get in. We'll we'll get into that. But the texture of the hair did change. I'm like, I should have left it the way that it was because the silkiness that I felt initially when I unboxed the hair just it completely went away. So you want me to pay three hundred fifty four dollars, which is overpriced, because you have a fake scalp and you plucked the front of the hair for me. Yeah, not not really worth it. Now, after they've slapped me in the face by telling me they're going to give me a $10 refund and a $25 coupon to spend more money with you, it gets better. I'm going to read this off. Probably going to include some of the ones that I've read off on the screen because it is a lot. But it says, sorry to, sorry to let you have a bad experience. It is important to us that you are satisfied with your purchase. If the lace of the wig is intact, it's no problem to exchange Um change it for a new one and accept your return we mentioned that you don't cut the lace off to avoid just a stuck situation and again i'll own it that's on me you know excited it is what it is but the lace has been cut off we want to still find a way to solve the problem so we propose a partial refund you can consider 
trimming the bottom to a shorter length. So in order for the hair that I just paid $354 for to look the way it looks on your website, you're telling me to cut it. That's not a good solution. It's just not like come up with something better. Put the hair in here that you said you were going to put in here and we wouldn't have this issue, but this is not 160% density. It's just not. I'm sorry. So after going back and forth, I figured, you know what, let me just tell you what I think is an acceptable refund for this wig. The fake scalp is nice. The hairline, you're, you're, you're pretty much paying for the, you're paying for the fact that they've plucked the hairline. I don't think this wig is worth more than 275, 300 at a push. So I reached back out to them and I said, for the density that I received, I think a $75 refund is fair. I paid extra for the density as well as the cap construction, neither of which I felt I received. Pretty much I said they can't do $75. They can increase the refund to $20. That's a difference between the 140 and the 160 percent density. Please let me know. So I said again, I appreciate that discount, but I'm going to pass. Twenty dollars is just it's not enough. Like this wig is not worth three hundred fifty four dollars for this density, for this density, for this cap construction. It's just not. So they reached out to the manager. It gets better. They're like, we'll give you a $40 refund and a $30 coupon, which making the total 70. Hopefully you can accept this partial refund and a coupon code. I just told you earlier in emails that you offering me money to spend with your company when I'm already not satisfied is not a good customer service experience. Like that doesn't make me feel welcome as a customer. And maybe it could just be me, but you know, don't tell me, well, I'm going to give you something to spend more money with me. I don't like that option. If you're going to give me, just give me. If not, then just don't. So I'm not sure at what point in time they watch my video on YouTube. Um, I declined the $40 refund and the $30 coupon because it's a 30, it's the same $30 coupon I already got. Like it's, I'm not, I don't feel special. I pretty much just told them I appreciated all the offers and I just wouldn't be buying from their company again, which I, I'll be honest with you, even though I'm not having an issue with the wig or with the hair, I probably won't because again, like I really feel as though I can get this wig cheaper from another AliExpress company. Um, I'm not going to name who it is because I try not to name other companies when I'm talking about one particular company in the video, but there is one company that I was really impressed with. The hair was amazing and I already checked out their prices um, and it's right in line with what I think you should pay for this wig. So, and I don't know if you guys have seen any of like my filming day vlogs or any of like my rants on my channel. This is where I feel, now I could be wrong. Um, that they get a little bit disrespectful and I can be rude just like anybody else. I don't think I've been rude thus far and if I was it wasn't my intention but I, what I don't tolerate is people being rude and disrespectful to me. So this is where <clears throat> my whole tone changes and you'll hear it. They said this communication is not going anywhere. If you keep insisting on a $70 refund, we can't reach that agreement. If you're interested in the coupon, we really hope you can consider the $40 refund. Thank you. I said, you're absolutely right. It's not going anywhere and I don't seem to be the one who's not getting it. I've declined your offer several times, but you keep trying. I told you the resolution I was looking for, but you keep making offers under that. I don't know why. So it's apparent I'm not the one who's not getting it. Have a great day and a happy new year. You're not going to talk to me like that. This conversation isn't going anywhere. Obviously it's not. We came to a point where you were making offers and I let you know the offer that I'm looking for and you kept going back and forth. At that point, if you couldn't do $70, you just should have just said no. But to come to me and tell me this communication isn't going anywhere, like who do you think you're talking to? No, absolutely not. And I realized that by me standing up for myself, um, a lot of hair companies are probably not going to want to work with me and I'm quite okay with that. I have no problem buying what I want with my own money so that I can say what I want. No, no issues with that. So let's just, you know, let's just put that out there. So I get another response from them. <clears throat> $40 is already an exception. I can feel you, but we are working with limited company rules and I will take it to my boss <clears throat> back to the office from the new year holiday, I would recommend that you take the $40 when, when we are going back and forth, the full payment is still not in our account. Hopefully you can resolve this soon. 
<laughs> I said we already agreed this back and forth is not going anywhere. So please don't bother to reach back out to me. Have a blessed day. Because what you're not going to do is tell me that this is not going anywhere and then continue to email me and think I'm going to be okay with you continuing to email me. No, you don't have to. You don't have to respond to me. You you don't have to do that. Just So now I get a different response. And I also want to um, put in there that... And I don't know if this is how they handle things in their company, but each response that I get back, some of them are signed by the same person, some of them are signed by different people, but at no point in time is it okay, like, for you to tell me that this communication isn't going, like, it's so rude. The, last, the other response that I got from them, hi, hope you had a great holiday. We have two solutions. We will refund the $70 payment to, of your order to make the wig wearable with your exception. We can offer repairs. I'm, I'm like I already waited like a month for this wig so I'm not gonna go with the repairs but I took the $70 refund and I said thank you I'll take offer one a $70 refund and they said they applied the $70 refund and I got my $70 back and I know this was a long video I hope you guys were able to keep up with me any of this the emails that were verbatim I'm gonna try to put them on the screen just so you guys can read along with me but trying to trying to bring it down you cannot talk to people however you want this makes me appreciate the hair companies that are in my top or my best hair companies I'll leave that video down below or any of the hair companies that I've worked with that things didn't work out well with you cannot talk to people however you want and expect them to want to support your business and support you like I always say a hair company for me is much more than just the hair. So when I say that I'm not going to buy another wig from you guys again, yeah, obviously, for two reasons. One, I don't feel as though I got what I paid for. Paying something for the wig is not an issue, but paying what you guys charge for me to get what I received is where I had the problem. Two, you guys need to work on your communication. I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, the communication for me. For me, it's not there. Um, at no point in time, if I'm reaching out to you for customer assistance and I will own all day what I did wrong, I cut the lace off. It's in my initial unboxing. You can see when the wig is on the mannequin head. The lace is already gone. That's my fault. So after I told them no to their $40 refund, I was willing to eat the $70 that I realized I probably wasn't going to get because I'm like, you know what? At some point in time, you got to realize where you messed up and I'm like you know what I messed up by cutting the lace off so I'll eat the $70 but don't come back to me and be like rude about it like it's no I don't I I don't like when companies do that there is no need to be rude there's no need to be nasty and I don't really want to touch too much on this you guys can do your own research and look it up but I did this video and bought this wig for one of my supporters like I said the person who's been loyal to me loyal to my channel from the very beginning but I honestly didn't want to buy from them for two reasons. One, when I look at the wig, I'm like $384. That's a lot of money, you know, for a wig. What am I going to get? I didn't think it was worth it then. $30 off, I'm like, all right, it's a little bit more affordable. And then when I got the wig, got the density, saw the, the cap construction, it's like, okay, this wig is not worth more than $300. So that's that. In addition to how they have treated bigger youtubers than myself um in the past and you guys can look into that that's why i said you know it's not like i say they're paying the girl who came up with the fake scalp method on this wig if you are paying her then i can understand you know you have to have your price a little bit higher because she's getting her cut but that's not the case so i don't understand why one the price is high and two you're rude yeah so those are my thoughts but that wraps up this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.